Amidst the looming threat of ECOWAS military intervention, reports surfacing reveals a significant surge in enthusiasm among young individuals who lined up outside Niamey's main stadium. The purpose behind this gathering was in response to a call for civilian volunteers to bolster the efforts of Nigeria's armed forces. The event's organizers expressed their astonishment at the overwhelming turnout, having anticipated no more than 10,000 participants. The initiative, aptly named Mobilization of Young People for the Fatherland, garnered substantial attention through posters and billboards throughout the capital. Welcome to Africa Info Hub, an educational channel dedicated to presenting Africa to the world through a renewed perspective on its rich history. Our mission is to shed light on the diverse and fascinating narratives that have shaped the continent. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. A grassroots movement in Niamey has initiated a campaign aimed at enlisting tens of thousands of volunteers from all corners of the nation to enroll in the Volunteers for the Defense of Niger program. This collective effort is devised to offer a range of services, including combat roles, medical assistance, and technical and engineering support, among others. The group stands prepared to aid the junta if the need arises. Hima, a co-organizer of the event, shared, the all calculations and expectations fell far short of this remarkable mobilization. Never could we have envisioned such an immense response. The registration process had to be halted prematurely due to the sheer volume of individuals present, surpassing their initial projections. Among those who came forward to enroll, Mamadou, echoing a sentiment shared by many, expressed, for the love of my country, I aspire to serve as a soldier. Niger is dear to my heart, and I am committed to its well-being. Abdullahi, a Nigerian footballer, conveyed his motivation for joining, stating, I learned of the need for 5,000 to 10,000 volunteer soldiers, which prompted me to be here. In a display of unwavering support, some parents accompanied their children, arriving as early as 3 a.m., to heed the call of various organizations. This collective dedication highlights the profound value Nigerians place on their nation. It is important to note that the authenticity of these events is verified through available videos and interviews. ECHO was envoys touched down in Niger, undertaking a determined effort to engage in further dialogue with the junta. Notably, the delegation featured Abdul Salami Abubakar, a former Nigerian military head of state, as confirmed by the Communication Office of Niger's ruling CNSP. Abu Bakr had previously journeyed to Niamey on August 3 as an emissary of ECOWAS, however, his attempts to convene with both the new strongman, Abdurrahman Chiani, and the deposed president, Mohamed Bazaoum, were met with hurdles. In a resolute stance, ECOWAS, Commissioner for Political Affairs and Security emphasized that the organization stands poised to deploy a standby force, should the ongoing negotiations not yield the desired outcomes. As these diplomatic efforts unfold, the region and the world keenly watch for the developments that will shape the future of Niger. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.